this video we're going to show you how to remove and replace Shimano cranks. We're going to be using a Dura-Ace model to show you, but the method is exactly the same for all current road and mountain bike Shimano cranks. To do this job, you're going to need the following. A Holotech 2 bearing preload tool, 5mm Allen key, a soft hammer or rubber mallet, and a small flat-headed screwdriver. If you've got a chain on your bike, take it off the chain rings and rest it on the bottom bracket shell. Then loosen the two bolts on the non-drive side crank by turning them anti-clockwise with the 5mm Allen key. Then using the preload tool, unscrew the outer cap. Next, using the small flathead screwdriver, lift the retention pin away from the axle. You should then be able to pull the crank away from the frame. Then moving over to the drive side, gently pull the cranks away from the frame. And if you can't pull the crank arm away easily, you may need to use a soft hammer or rubber mallet to loosen the drive side crank arm. Before you start to install your cranks, you need to put some grease on the end of the axle closest to the crank. Make sure that the chain is looped around the bottom bracket shell, then slide your cranks through. Once they're almost flush with the bottom bracket, pull the chain around the small chain ring. And to make sure the crank is seated properly, give it a light tap with a rubber mallet. Going over to the other side, Put some more grease on the end of the axle before sliding the non-drive side crank over it. Make sure that the crank is at 180 degrees to the drive side crank, then push it on as far as you can by hand. Push the retention pin back into the axle and then start threading the outer screw in clockwise using the bearing preload tool. Hand tighten it as much as you can and then the crank arm should be tight without any left to right play. If you're satisfied that they're tight, you'll need to tighten the two outer crank screws clockwise. If these are old cranks that you're putting back on, it's a good idea to put some chain lube on these bolts before you tighten them up. Also, tighten each bolt up a little at a time in stages. If you completely tighten one without tightening the other at all, then you risk damaging the crank. For more videos like this, go to www.youtube.com forward slash GCN.